Hey guys, NapTech here, and today I'm going to be showing you very quickly how to download Apple's new San Francisco font uh, to use in Pages or other software on your Mac or on Windows. So for Windows, you could use it on Word or any other place that supports um, system fonts. This is completely free and it works on both Windows and Mac, uh, so any version of OS X and any version of Windows. So stick to the end to learn how to install San Francisco. All right, so the first thing I have to explain to you is that Apple released this new font for the first time uh, on the Apple Watch, and so it is a very beautiful font. It is meant to replace Helvetica, which Apple used before this font, and it is now a system font. However, you cannot use it um, in your files or documents unless you install it, which is what I will show you how to do. So the first thing you want to do is open your browser. It could be Safari, Firefox, or Chrome, whatever browser you have. Open it. And um, you will have to go to this link right over here. So this is the link you have to go to. It's on github.com. And I will um, place this link in the description below. Uh, you can also click um, right here uh, to go to this website. And so once you've opened the website, um, as you can see here, there are four files that contain the system San Francisco font. Now, San Francisco is actually called SFNS display as a font file, and it's um, a, dot, a dot .ttf or a dot .otf file. Um, so the, this type of file is compatible with both OS X and Windows, so you could do this on a Mac in the same way. So on Mac, you'd, la you'd launch Internet Explorer or Firefox or any other browser that you have as well, and go to that same website right over here and download these files. So to do that, just go to clone or download, and download.zip, a zip file. Um, it will ask you to open with archive utility on Mac or save file. On Windows, it will ask you to save the file. You'd save the file and then you'd unzip it on Windows. On Mac, um, this is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna open it with archive utility. You could also save it and then open it with the archive utility. So as you can see, right after I've downloaded it, it um, the, the zip file is still there, so I can just go ahead and delete that by pressing command delete on my keyboard and um, it has created a folder for me. In the folder, there are many files. Um, the files that we're interested in are these, which are the font files. However, if you want to read some more, um, you can go to the README or to see the text face, which is an alternate. Now, if um, these files did not work for you, you can go to this folder and these files should work. Now, to install these files, um, I already have them installed, but you can go ahead and do that. You have to open um, open all of the files. And uh, for each file that you open, you will get, um, for Mac, it will be the font books. So the font book will launch some sort of window with a preview of the font, and you simply click Install Font, and it will install it on your computer. Um, if you are on Windows and you double click the file, it will open a window that's very similar and it will also have the install font button, but it will prompt you to say yes or no. So you, you'd want to click yes then. But it's pretty much the same for both Mac and Windows. And so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, again, this is completely free. Uh, GitHub is the website where you get it. Again, I'll link it to the description below, or you can click right here and the link will be there. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for how to get uh, the San Francisco font. Now you can use it in Pages or anywhere else. So I'm going to go to Pages, create a new document. And as you can see, I will be able to use the font. So right here in the fonts, I go to SFS. And there it is. It, it will be called um, SFNS Display or SNF, SFNS text display is the best one I find. Um, you can use the bold variation as well, but we also have ultralight, which is the nicest um, variation of the font. It is the one Apple uses the most. And as you can see, I can now use the font in other applications. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope to help you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any other suggestions for videos or you have questions about this, don't don't uh, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below and we will reply. Um, also, please don't forget to subscribe. If you do subscribe, you will stay up to date on all our new videos and tips and tricks. Uh, we do videos for Mac, Windows, and other technology-related content, so make sure to subscribe. Thank you again for watching. See you next time. This has been another NAPTEC tutorial.